when we talk about telepresencing, we say, if I'm at A, I want to be at B. My feeling was that there was another possibility. That other possibility is artificial reality. Its creator, Myron Kruger, doesn't apologize for not having an arts background. He's a computer whiz. Artificial reality is created by using a video camera, a projector, and a computer. A person's outline is projected on any movement forces the computer to react using a little green digital character called the critter. And the critter has all sorts of different behaviors and I play with them as if you were a graphic pet. And it's designed to tell you about the, the sort of artificial world that we're entering. He's the first step, a playful creature who will come out and engage you in a new kind of play. Your body now is, is interacting on the screen. Kruger sees scientific applications for the critter. For instance, it could be used in the treatment of autistic children. The idea is that an autistic child doesn't want to interact. And most important, he doesn't want to interact with people. But that's the, the most upsetting thing. Now, in the, this system, I can focus the computer on his behavior so that no matter how small his behavior, I can respond to it. And I can lead him into larger and larger behaviors. So there's no way he can withdraw. There's no possibility of not interacting. This is artificial reality as well. It's artistic side, body surfacing. Moment by moment, you're creating something beautiful, but that beautiful thing changes so that you have to keep moving. And you, you don't think about sitting back and looking at the result because you can create something equally beauty beautiful the next 10 seconds being involved and thinking about it instant by instant rather than capturing it and hanging it on the wall. Most people complain of being artistically inept. Kruger believes the computer allows them to create at will. The computer is the most important event of our time in a sense, and it's a cultural event, not just a technological event. So the computer has to be communicated to people and not as a technical, here's how it works, things, but here's what it might be. 